Hi everybody, welcome to Wrestling Tea Tarot. Today's episode is a very uh, special one, also a very heavy one. As you guys know, I think it's been officially like almost two weeks now that, um, I think it's been two weeks, that uh, Wyndham Rotunda, also known as Bray Wyatt, passed away of a heart attack in his sleep, they are saying. Um, and uh, yeah, he was 36 years old. I dread doing this reading because... Um, I need to keep my personal emotions out of it because I actually love Bray, right? And Bray has like, been one of my favorite wrestlers. So I hope Wyndham knows that um, I come with, you know, honor and love. And I come with the best intentions. And I, I definitely feel his energy and presence. I felt it as I was shuffling. And know that I come with the good of all and harm to none. And I um, I mean no disrespect to him or his family. Um I just want him to be able to tell his story and, um, you know, maybe leave us with another Easter egg, another parting gift. He he loved doing that in wrestling, right? Great storyteller. Um, allow me to tell as much of the story and energy I can tell respectfully while flowing in his energy. I didn't want to do this. I know there was people requesting it since he's died. Um, I believe in respecting the dead, right? Um, I'm not afraid of death. You know, I know death is just a... Uh, just an energy upgrade, right? It's just another energy evolution, right? And um, I'm not afraid of death, but I also respect that not everybody um, grieves death the same way. So I have to be respectful and I wanted to be very respectful to his family. And I didn't want to do this reading um, looking like I was just chasing viewership. I was just chasing clout. I really could have gone without doing this reading because I did it personally and I did it privately and um, I felt like I saw what I needed to see. If you're looking for conspiracy theory, conspiracy tea, I don't know if y'all are going to find it in this reading, honestly. Because even if I see it, I'm not going to um, jeopardize my own household um, saying too much, right? So with that being said, I'm going to flow into Wyndham Rotunda's energy as much as I possibly can. As much as he's allowing me to flow in his energy and tell his story. I assure you, if anyone that is seeing this that is close to, you know, Bray Wyatt, Wyndham Rotunda, I assure you I come with the best intentions for the good of all and harm to none. I come with love and light. Um, I just want to allow Bray to tell his story one last time before he, uh, you know, before his energy begins to dissipate on this plane, right? And he watches over his, flan you know, watches over his family from the, you know, from the Milky Way. So, with that being said, you guys, I am going to ask permission to flow into y'all energy because this is a different kind of energy. This is energy of those who have passed on. So this is where you say yes, including even you. This is where you say yes, that you are okay with participating in this energy exchange. And if you have said yes now and given me consent, I will now continue through with this reading on Bray Wyatt. Um, I just like to ask permission that to make sure everybody is okay with me, you know, doing this reading, um, before I start, because I, I do care about, um, energies. Energies can be extremely heavy and intense. So, um, right there, it's fine. I'm going to play some bells to cleanse the energy in my house and the cleanse the energy is fine in your space, you guys. So the bells are going to ring to purify the space before I do this reading. Um, I usually don't do this on Wrestling Tea Tarot. I usually only do this on my personal page, but this is just to kind of cleanse any static energy and any negative energy that might try to come through during this reading. Trigger warning for anybody watching, because I'm burping. That's a spiritual burp and confirmation. His presence is very much around me. Um... Trigger warning in case I don't know what cards I'm going to pull. If you're not prepared for, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's why I usually don't like doing people who have recently passed away. I usually like waiting quite a while because I really don't know what kind of energy I'm going to get. Right. I don't know what kind of responses. I don't know what kind of story we're going to see. So in case you get emotional or whatever the case is, just trigger warning of, you know, I don't know what to expect out of this reading. As again, I am just being used as a tool to tell a story and to try to see what I can see based on certain decks I have chosen. And I've tried to choose the most respectful decks I can possibly choose for this reading. So that's enough. I appreciate everyone 
who supports our channel if you haven't yet go check out that jack perry video the cm punk video <laughs> the all the all in brawl video you know three of our most recent popular videos that are currently doing very well on the channel um if you're looking for another you know juicy tidbit uh video to go watch but if you haven't yet and it's your first time here please like share share this out with someone who you know is a big bray wyatt fan like share subscribe please subscribe and uh if you enjoy content that's unique and different like this about wrestling um you know your favorite wrestlers subscribe um turn on that notification bell so you can get these videos first and be notified when we post new content so definitely turn on that notification bell and leave a comment down below leave a r.i.p Wyndham rotunda let's acknowledge the man not the character leave a r.i.p Wyndham rotunda um, leave a heart, whatever you feel called to during this reading, but please leave a comment down below so that we can continue to get pushed out on YouTube. And if you're watching this, please watch it all the way through, even if you just keep the closed caption on so we can continue to get pushed out. I am feeling all kind of emotions, so bear with me if it gets a little bit rough for me during this reading, all right? So this is definitely different of different kind of reading I'm doing on the channel, so... Bray, what is it that, you know, oh, sorry, Wyndham wanted to say Bray. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't mind, but Wyndham Bray, what is it that you want us to know? What is it that you want to tell your your fan base, the collective? What is it that you want us to know for the good of all and harm tonight? And this reading is for Wyndham, Wyndham Rotunda. For the good of all and harm to none. What is it that you want us to know respectfully for the good of all and harm to none? This reading is for Wyndham Rotunda. Yeah, I expected to see the devil card. For the good of all unharmed tonight, this reading is for Wyndham Rotunda Bray Wyatt. I hope I do this reading justice. As I said, I come with the best intentions. I come with love and light. I send my condolences to his family. I'm sorry I didn't say that at the beginning. I definitely send my condolences to the Rotunda family. Um, I send my love and light to Jojo and the children, all his children, even with his ex-wife. May his children be covered with love, light, and protection during this time and, you know, as they grow up. This reading is for Linda Rotunda Bray Wyatt. This reading is for Linda Rotunda Bray Wyatt. What is it that happened to you, Bray? hot it is sweaty this energy is hella intense it's always intense when i do bray it's waves of emotions all the time let's see what we got you guys again if this is your first time here please like share subscribe turn on that notification bell hopefully you guys can hear me good as I'm sitting down, I'm not usually, I'm not standing up like I usually tend to because I was like, yeah, this, this energy, you know, um, can be very intense. And I was like, yeah, I don't want to, you know what I mean? In case I get nervous, jittery, emotional, I want to be sitting down. So the first card we have for Bray is the world. We have completion. I'm just going to stand there. We have completion. We have the whole world in his hands, right? Yeah. We have the world completion, travel, integration, accomplishment, fulfillment. Um, this is him speaking of he had the whole world in his hands. He, you know, he felt fulfilled, right? So we have the world showing, interestingly enough, everyone kept saying he's got the whole world in his hands. It's kind of like an acknowledgement of, oh, no, I heard you guys, right? And then we have mature woman, romance, artistic counselor, mother figure. So maybe this is a mom, his mother. Um... Or this could be Jojo, right? Visionary, intuitive, creative. This could this could either be his mother showing up or Jojo showing up. Um, let's see what else we have. We have suffering, worry, lack of sleep, anxiety, negativity, regret, breaking point, mental anguish. This always comes up for Bray, you guys. Nine of Swords. 
I'm here with my partner, Jude. I am burping like crazy because I am so in deep in this energy. Step into the unknown. We got the fool. Step into the unknown. Adventure, new beginning, free spirit, naive, leap of faith, spontaneous. This is always Bray, right? Bray coming back, I think, was like taking a leap of faith, right? This new character, this new adventure. adventure. And he's always been, like, if you listen to what uh seth and becky describe him as real free spirit right you know he was all over the place you never knew what you were going to get get with bray right so to some degree bray probably really does represent the fool in a in a good way right like in a light-hearted way but also naive right like maybe we'll have to go deeper into the energy kind of like e -E. i don't think he kind of knew what the fed was possibly setting him up against uh, as setting them up for again this run we have messages news enthusiasm free spirit so there it is a confirmation right double confirmation on him being a free spirit this also could be talking about free spirit from the body right free from the body his spirit is free right free spirit new passion a spark discovery creative talent we know he was hello creative vigor right and then the message the news broke of him passing away um uh sorry bear with me um i'm also trying to take it that again this shit is so hard not trying to get emotional and keep my own emotions out while trying to process like the energy i'm feeling and taking it in um this could be you know like getting the news of i'm trying to just place where he's taking me if that makes sense right is this the beginning is this the end right because this kind of feels like the end but i'm not sure yet because I need to pull a little bit more cards. I'm just trying to see where he's taking me in this story, energetically wise. Ambition, progress, victory, control, travel, determination, overcoming obstacles, success. That makes sense. The chariot, right? Overcoming, um, you know, the setback of being fired and coming back, right? Stepping into the unknown, right? Enthusiastic, new passion. He was reinvigorated. This second run, a spark, a discovery. We know he was a hell of a creative talent. The devil, right? Addiction, this always shows up for Bray in private. Jude, you're here with me. My partner, Jude's here with me. He knows every time, all the time. Like, between the suffering, worry, lack of sleep, and the mental anguish and addictions, always show up for Bray. So I was not shocked when I saw these two cards. I'd have been more shocked if I didn't see this energy. We have addiction, obsession, cheating, attachment, restriction, secrecy, temptation, manipulation, sex. So we also know Bray, um, you know. He's a man of passions. He's a man of passions, right? You know, the, the, he definitely, um, yeah, he definitely enjoyed the, uh, you know, his, his, I don't know. I don't know how else to describe a man that likes to, you know, enjoy pleasure in many ways, right? Many forms, right? Forgive me, Bray. I'm trying to be respectful here. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to tell the story without being, you know, rude or anything. But uh, I can, it, it's crazy. Like as much, I feel like a comforting hug more than like anger, if that makes any sense. Um Walking away, letting go, travel, withdrawal, seeking meaning, self-discovery, abandonment. This is the project. This is this is even after Uncle Howdy, right? You know, feeling abandoned, seeking meaning, withdrawing, right? First steps, two paths, decisions, planning, progress, partnerships, stay or go. God, it, like, there's a lot of travel energy, a lot of on-the-movement energy. Because, look, we got travel there, travel here. That's three cards I've pulled with the word travel. So, heavy on traveling. Like, and then letting go travel. Like, again, I don't know if this speaks of his death or this was just, like, Like, I don't know if he was, like, constantly on the move, right? Like, before he died. Like, maybe doctor's visits, going up, you know. Because, again, he, I heard he was at Mania and didn't do nothing at Mania. So, they might have still had him on the move. And then there's this stay or go, you know, making progress, planning, two paths. I think he, I pulled this, him at a crossroad, this crossroad energy. Do I stay or do I go? 
You know, that's that decision's crossroads. Like somehow I think he ended up at a crossroad again. Wealth, self-sufficient, freedom, achievement, rewarded, right? Financial independence, you know? They definitely gave him, offered him a lucrative contract, right? He had a little bit more creative freedom, rewarded efforts, right? This second time around. This is him and JoJo, partnership, love, friendship, mutual attraction, connection, love affair, union, right? Three of Cups, celebration, reunion, creativity. There's a creativity again, collaboration, party, victory, happiness, friendship, group. I think this is, again, him being around his friends and his peers again, right? I think when Bray had that emotional um, comeback speech, Without all the howdy duty shit, and he was just himself, that was probably as the best Bray we were getting, right? Like this bare raw, like, I was in a dark place, y'all have no idea how much y'all saved me. He meant that. I am really getting this. Um... I'm also trying to process all this information. Bear with me, Wyndham. We have the lovers, attraction, love, passion, decisions, soulmates, romance, duality, union part, heavy on the love life coming through. JoJo really coming through support in him. So I'm definitely getting a lot of her energy. Um, Work, preparation, skill, mastery, commitment, hard work, details, craftsmanship, building the business. You know, you, you know, he was a master of his craft, but it was burning him out. If you look at this photo, right, it's like, oh, no, I work so hard that I drive myself fucking crazy. I work so hard that I'm I'm burning myself out. You know what I mean? That committed the hard work, the details, you know, super, you know, uh, Paul Levesque said, like, you know, excuse me, confirmation, um, Bray was like this ball of information, right, and you, he's like a lightning rod, and you got to know how to point him, right, like he's, he, he, he's got so much that it, it could be a lot at times, right, burden, responsibility, martyr, hard work, stress, what I just say, oh my god, I swear I didn't even see this card yet, burning out, one final push, keep going, literally just said that, so, Looks like we're going from the beginning and we're now getting to probably the middle, right? Queen of Pentacles, practical, motherly, grounded, down to earth, generous, caring, good business sense, responsible. Someone in his life, again, I don't know if this is mother because this is double influence on a mature woman. Like, I don't know if this is all JoJo. This could be another woman in his life. And I'm not saying a side piece. I'm not like there's there's just someone else there's like and it I definitely got the lovers I definitely got Jojo but this this double um matriarchal energy is showing up for him in his life right they kept him down to earth very caring and nurtured him his mom is still alive I would assume so can you just double check for me i think his mom is still alive that could possibly really be his mother showing up with jojo um bray was a magician right power resourcefulness manifestation creativity concentration action like we know he was a we we know he was the magician this also speaks though of health right the power to creativity but this can also if you look at the photo is like you know taking things right um trying to get healthy trying to get right right um Pulling at all his power and resources, getting really creative, romantic proposal or message, uh, surprise, creative opportunities, possibility, right? The inner child. So he literally, oh my God, I'm really pulling this. I don't want to say anything, but I'm going to pat myself on my back because this is the first time I'm doing it live on camera. I usually, again, I get this same stuff in private, but... um. He literally talked about a video. Go, if you're, after you want done watching this, go find it. He talks about how Uncle Howdy was something from his inner child, his childhood, right? That Uncle Howdy was not just some made up character, right? So him creating Uncle Howdy something from his childhood. 
He was defending himself, his boundaries, standing your ground. He was challenged, de determined, territorial, defensive, right? Makes sense. Pretty sure that she is still living and that she and Mike are still married. They're still married. Good. So, yeah, no, this is his mother coming through. All right. His mama, his mama came through. She was a big component for him. Ongoing battle, weary, tires is the health again. Tired, resilience, guarded, wounded, courage, persistence, the setbacks, right? Uncle Howdy didn't take off. Him, him defending Uncle Howdy, standing his ground, standing ground on his creativity, his creative ideas, right? Letting WWE know, like, Listen, no matter how much we don't didn't like Uncle Howdy and shit and didn't like the um the Mountain Dew, you know, the Mountain Dew stuff, it's crazy how people like, oh, he's one of the most creative wrestlers of our time, generational things. People are so fucking wishy washy. I never I never wavered. Hopefully break and feel the sincerity in my spirit. I didn't care for Uncle Howdy, but I never doubted Bray's creativity. I never fucking stopped supporting Bray. I never stopped loving Bray. I just hated that he kept getting darker and darker and darker with his characters. And to some degree, it spiritually had wear and tear on him. Dabbling in that kind of energy too, right? But he also was physically tired, right? His health wasn't in the best of shape. COVID, I think, did a number on him. Um, whether it was COVID, the shot, whatever, that's, that's neither here or there right if it was before if it was because of his weight i mean you can say it's probably many pro proponents right diet whatever patience slow progress practical hard work conservative methodical grounded effort which we know he was super hard working right uh uncle howdy being a slow burn like he likes to tell long-term story right he was patient stuff like that right Holding on to something stingy, possessive, without holding guarded financial control and security. He was holding on to something. He wasn't willing to sell something. He wasn't willing to let something go. He was guarding something. Probably his creativity. Like they wanted to, oh, you should do this. Oh, you should do that. Like he was holding on to something. He was protecting something. You know, financial control, security, like holding, he, he was holding on to something and I can't quite figure it out. Right? And then at the top, I just wanted to see, we have intelligent, high achiever, astute, independent, perceptive, bitter, doesn't like to show weakness. That's Bray's energy. So that's the first deck. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the reading. Jude, what do you have to say about the cards I've pulled so far? Like, I wish you would actually tap into this reading. This is this is one people really care to see. All right, you guys, Jude's busy doing something. So, um, I mean, personally, just based on what I'm seeing, it's exactly probably what I pulled. Like, it's not as dark as I was expecting. There's a few cards that could be interpreted many ways, right? Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of love, a lot of family support, which is great to see. I'm so happy to see that, right? Um, I am feeling so nauseous. This energy is intense. Um, being being in that this space. Let's continue on. If you haven't yet. Please like, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. This reading is for Wyndham Rotunda, Bray Wyatt. This reading is for Wyndham Rotunda, Bray Wyatt, Wyndham Rotunda, Bray Wyatt. I am now using the Messenger of the Heart deck. I knew I was going to pull Broken. This reading is for Wyndham Rotunda, Bray Wyatt. up and then what do we have at the top lack of faith let's see this reading is for Wyndham Rotunda Bray Wyatt 
Wendem Rotunda Bray Wyatt. For the good of all my heart and none, this reading is for Wendem Rotunda Bray Wyatt. He felt like someone betrayed him. Wendem Rotunda Bray Wyatt. Wendem Rotunda Bray Wyatt. Wendem Rotunda. Rotunda Bray Wyatt. Oh. Rotunda Bray Wyatt. Sorry guys. Alright, I think that's enough for this deck too. Let's see what else we have. Bear with me guys. Let me try to get pick these cards up quickly. It can be a lot sometimes, so I do apologize. Thank you so much for your patience. I hope y'all enjoying the reading. I know some of y'all might be all in your emotions like I am during this reading because doing these readings can be intense. Seriously. Y'all be like, oh, do this person, do this person. Like, I don't think people understand. First of all, it taxes my body. Um, It, it pulls on my energy. You know what I mean? So... You're talking about delving into the, you know, the spirit realm. So, you know, I try my best to do these when I can, but it's a lot. Message. They want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know they have to do right by you. So, there was something with messages. So, this deck, I picked this deck in particular, right? This was on his heart, and the imagery means a lot more than just the word, right? Than so much as what's down here. So we have like Mercury, the messenger. So he was waiting for a message, something about, you know, messages, right? To, you know, to communicate with someone. We're going to get more into the story to see what that message meant, right? Game over. Oof. They know, they know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted efforts. So something about like game over makes me think of Triple H, right? So this makes me think of Triple H. Him waiting for a message from Triple H. The term game over immediately makes me think of Paul. Right? Taming the beast. And the old conquering ways when I work with you. So, to me, this is, again, this is JoJo. Right? Taming the beast. Passion ignited. His passions were definitely there. Right, whether it's sexual or creative, right? He was anxiously waiting. See, we got game over message, anxiously waiting, right? So he was anxiously waiting for something. Back and forth, like he was on a swing. They were trying, he was trying to make sense of this, right? You know, with the, because I definitely got mixed signals. Where is it? Hold up. No, I saw mixed signals. There it is. Mixed signals, right? So we got the back and forth, felt like he was getting mixed signals by the Fed, right? He was trying to make sense of it, was in a cloudy space between hot and cold, right? They're telling you, like, you know, telling them one thing, then really something else. Like, I think the first time he came back, the experience was a lot better. I'm not saying, like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, this run, I think, started good, and it got rocky fast. You know what I mean? Because the game over also implies, like, things weren't going well, right? Like, the, the, the this run, like, went... The energy is like, no, it didn't last long, right? We got energy cords, right? So he's definitely here. This is this speaks of the spirit realm, right? Him, him still energetically being here in this realm. Sorry, that's that's absolutely what it implies, right? Um, I hope JoJo and his children never feel alone because he's energetically still there. Energy cords means I'm still tied to this realm, right? serendipity they're leaving things up to chance right and hoping the universe will intervene this is him like he was trying to be hopeful keep the faith 
Like, double decks have implied. <laughs> I'm creative. I'm there. I'm all invested. Shit going a bust. Both decks. Right? Stuff not panning out like it was supposed to. Lack of faith, right? Leaving you out in the cold. So, that speaks of the Fed. Didn't have faith in him or this, that, that Uncle Howdy. He, he did not want to go back to the Fiend. He did not want to go back to the Fiend. Uh, he, he, he was growing. He was going in a new direction. Right. He didn't want to be told, oh no, we want this old business. Right. The back and forth. The mixed signals. And, and he may literally, he may spiritually have not wanted the fiend to inhabit him anymore. He had externalized that darkness right. in the form of Uncle Howdy. Yeah. So that it was no longer had to he had to embody it. I think he was trying real hard to be the shepherd. Yeah, there's definitely energy cords here. And that that's that speaks of spiritual. So there's something spiritual either to the character or this run was a spiritual run for him. More like a cathartic, right? Mm -hmm. No, I'm 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 more vulnerable. I'm me. I'm showing y'all. Mm -hmm. Uncle Howdy was like something from his childhood, because I definitely right. pulled that inner child. I don't know if it's a wound or if it was something he loved, or if Uncle Howdy was like a rescue, right? A, a sanctuary. I, I don't know yet. We mm -hmm. never got to see that character go that far to know the full story. Unless well, somebody gonna leak a journal. Ancestral karma, right? They are clearing negative, so negative patterns. So what I'm saying, this, <laughs> yeah, this speaks of trying to cut that ancestral karma again, spiritual. So we got energetic and ancestral karma. Oh my God, is this health issue something that's in his family? Says something that was passed down through the generations. I wonder if the Rotundas have a history of possibly heart issues. Something. 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 Something's ancestral that he inherited. I don't know if that darkness, right? The uh, Does this speak of him being a, a third, you know, a, another gen? Third gen? Like... This speaks of something, either because it says passed down through the, you know, through the generations. Does that speak of his resin? Because this is his heart. This is energy in the in the heart. The journey, right? It may be long and challenging, but so long as you are with them, you'll never walk alone. This speaks of the love, the journey of not wanting to be alone. Well, Blackjack Mulligan died of a heart attack. Wow. Not me being spot on. Wow. I mean, both both Wyndham's parents are still living, but his maternal grandfather absolutely passed from our day. Wow. Well, there you go. Black Jack Mulligan died of a heart attack. But he was 73 years old. I, I <laughs> totally understand, and yet there's ancestral karma showing. My God, did he inherit... Hear me out, y'all. This shit could be totally reaching. This could speak of something inherited through the bloodline. Like, fuck if I know if someone may have cursed their bloodline. All kind of shit. We know wrestlers have had all kind of spiritual shit put on them. And Bray playing that character. By the way, look what this look like. This look like the chick who bought him out at WrestleMania, the Voodoo Priestess, right? We know the Fed cast all kind of spells over its WrestleMania stuff like that. I don't know, y'all. This speaks of some kind of ancestral karma. I don't know if this is, you know, the heart issues. I don't know if this is something spir spiritual issues, right? being passed down i'm gonna move on because i don't want to you know i don't want to deal with speculatory without proof 
overflow. Their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them. This was his speech. He felt the love. He felt the overflow. Like, I, I think everyone, since he has passed, the energy, right, has passed, he has felt the overflow even in the spirit realm. Permanent mark. You have left a permanent mark on their heart and they can't be erased even if they try. You will always be remembered. There we go. Well, that's for me. Right? Haunted. Told you he's here. It's always the confirmation card to me when I see haunted. But it also speaks of him still being around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both of us have pulled the haunted card card when Bray was still living. Right. <sighs> Says their vivid dreams haunt them. Trouble sleeping. Vivid dreams at home. Right. Vivid dreams haunted. Trouble sleeping. He had, he had some shit attached to him. This is what the energetic cords and the ancestral karma is talking about. This this speaks of something fucking haunting him. Dealt a bad hand, fuck. Ugh. Yeah, here's where you get a little darker. <sighs> they wish they'd met you at a different time because they feel they've never get to see what the connection could have been. So, feeling dealt a bad hand. Love is a fire. You set their heart on fire and the soul burning unquenchable. It's just talking about the connection, the love, right? Whether that's the love of the business, love with JoJo, right? He felt broken. Like, it's just a confirmation of the first deck, truly. Broken, they feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves. Bray, your energy, Wyndham, your energy has never been lighthearted, but I really do pray peace over you. I really do. And I appreciate you telling your story through me, even though it's going to make me fucking cry. The fight, the inner warriors being activated, they're getting ready to fight for you and overcome the fears of love. So some kind of fight, I don't know. I don't know how him and JoJo's relationship was before he passed, right? So also could be speaking of him being very protective over his family. Watching you. This is him watching. I told you, he's still here. They've been watching your social media, see your posts and get uh, clues to how to approach you. This is him still watching. Look, it's like a, per a person from above watching over, right? So in a different realm, watching, right? Old wounds. So, yes, childhood wounds. This is confirmation. Old wounds. Their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful and long-lasting relationships. There it is. He has childhood wounds. He had, sorry, he had childhood wounds. That's where un Uncle Howdy came from. Unhealed childhood wounds. Like... Beauty and grace. They find you extremely beautiful. Right, but your beauty intimidates them. They think someone else is more deserving. Bro, did he out here whole pouring his heart out to JoJo? Betrayal, something betrayed him. I think he felt betrayed by the Fed, right? Something betrayed him in the end. I don't know if he betrayed JoJo. I don't fucking know, y'all. When I get those, like, standalone cards where it's, like, betrayal, it can mean anything. But he felt betrayed. This is his heart, right? So he could have felt betrayed or felt like he betrayed someone in his life because we got the player, which makes me concerned that he might have felt bad, maybe even about betraying his ex-wife for all I know. It's not saying he doesn't love JoJo. He could have felt bad. Of hurting his previous, you know, his family, the first family he created, right? The player lifestyle that wants to find everything you did has stopped, right? So, he definitely acknowledges he was a player. 
and unsighted. They are able to see, unable to see the complete extent of the toxicity they brought into the connection. So speaking of the of the the heart, so he kind of felt blindsided. This is speaking of betrayal and blindside. So now I have a connection to the betrayal. Felt blindsided and betrayed. We're going to pull this up here because that's that's speaking of feeling blindsided and betrayed. All right, let's get into this next card. Whew, try not to keep this too long. It's already longer than I want it because it's intense. This reading is for, this reading is for Wendell Motunda, Bray Wyatt, for the good of all and harm and none. This reading is for Wendell Motunda, Bray Wyatt, for the good of all and harm and none. Come with the best intentions. Readings for Wendell Motunda, Bray Wyatt. Readings for Wendell Motunda, Bray Wyatt. Wendell Motunda, Bray Wyatt. With it all hurt and none. It's really a show when the world's under gray wide. All right, y'all. Oh, it is hurting my back. Oof, the saint. Martyrdom. Dishonor. Uh oh. There it is. Look, spirituality, mystery, divine. Yes, he was on a spiritual pilgrimage. I told you. So, no, that's confirmation. This run was spiritual. Whether people know it or not, it had stuff to do with his childhood. Detached, numb, focus. He felt like a machine. The elemental, a uh Honda -huh, rebirth, renew ritual. Ooh, not the ritual. Fuck life. Uh, rejection. Echo. Lord. Replica. The web, destiny, connections, habits. Speaks of that ancestral again. Then we have the concierge, beginnings, exploration, preparation. Oof, the fog, corruption, uncertainty, and confusion. <sighs> Give one more knock. What do you think so far, Jude, since you're looking this way? So far of all the cards I've pulled, even from the first two decks. Um, well, I think it's consistent with a lot of what we've seen. He was... We haven't talked about his astrology or numerology, right? And he's he's a Gemini, so he's complex, he's emotional. He's a life path eight, so... He was the power. He was the power, right? I mean, he was destined for, or he had the potential... Not me pulling duality, there's the Gemini. For, ...for great, great things. And I think, you know, in a lot of ways, he was operating on a, a different level from... You know, a lot of the folks around him. You know, he's kind of playing chess in a business where a lot of these guys are playing checkers. Um, and yeah, that probably left him unfulfilled to some degree. But it also, I mean, what we know or have heard is he had great relationships with people around him. So it's not like he, you know, had these condescending opinions of people who, you know, regardless of how they, what their role was in the business, um, you know, we, we always see how much he cared for his family. Um, it's all in his cards. Like, love was like so much in his heart. Jojo and, and his kids, all his kids. Yeah, I'm telling you, I think there's even regret. I'm serious about hurting the first wife. Mm -hmm. Being a player, betraying. Mm -hmm. he, he has regret because he knows it hurts. It hurt his children. I'm seeing all of that. Him being broken. He's always been haunted by something. Mm -hmm. But it's saying ancestral karma. Yeah. This energetic cord, right? Something watching you in an energetic cord. Old childhood wounds. Right. Something happened to Bray in his childhood. 
and I don't know, I mean... I, but I, he felt the overflow and love from everybody. Yep. Yeah. It, it's not my place or our place to to guess, and this is all allegedly for entertainment right, purposes. Right, this is all alleged for entertainment purposes. But, but I know I, what I feel it, it, while it, doing this. If, if I were going looking for those old wounds, I'd look on the Wyndham side before the Rotunda side. Right, that's what I'm saying. Just because Barry is in such a terrible state right now, and, right. you know, I hope the best for him. Just that side of the family came from a family of wrestlers who've yes. always been from, in the business. From the, the for, old school, from the dark old side old of school the dark side of the business, for the good and the bad. Right. So all of their children inherited shit yeah. to some degree. Uh, more so than than Mike Rotunda. Oh yeah. Who you know. Bless his heart, seems to be doing. I mean, he's heartbroken, but physically and all, you know, seems to be doing okay. We have the elemental rebirth, renew ritual. That speaks of transitioning. If I think of an elemental, right, that means going back into the earth, right? When you hear rebirth, renew ritual, right? Y'all can take that ritual for however you want. That's not for me to speculate, right? We have the concierge, which looks like the gatekeeper. You see this? Like mm -hmm. going through the doors. And then I had the transition. This came out before the transition. So let me move that. But this is like the gatekeeper. Like preparation, expiration, beginning. I'm I'm half tempted to go back and look at the Bray reading that I did right after WrestleMania because I know I used this deck as well. All right. I'm pretty sure I did. If y'all have it, I'm going to link it. I'm going to connect it to this video, you guys. Go check out that other Bray Wyatt video. Compare it to this video and see how much everything just keeps reaffirming. Jude did that reading. Let's see what, what stays in connection compared. And come back to this video and let us know in the other video how much they're connected. We have the future. He was the future. Look at this. The future, right? Adventure, luck, infinity. Which this also speaks of he ain't dying. The Fed is not going to let him die. I hate to say it. They're they going to want the rights to the Fiend, to sell Fiend merch. Just like they're doing with Macho Man. Macho got more merch dead than he had alive. Ultimate Warrior, more merch dead than alive. Two people he fell out with, by the way, fell out with Vinny. Allegedly for entertainment purposes. The weary, right? Drained, heartache, fulfillment. This was Bray. Bray was the weary. The Precipice. I don't think I've ever pulled this one. Risk, Vulnerability, Insecurity. Is that not Bray or what? Insecure, knowing the risk, right? Being vulnerable to the crowd. The Inferno, Passion. Ooh, Passion, Self-Destruction, Energy. Oof, it implies... You know, he had very self-destructive habits, but was very passionate, right? Full of energy. His energy was even chaotic like an inferno. We have the sun, right? Desire, hope, clarity, which also speaks of his love life. Because whenever we see the sun, that means love, right? Who bought who bought hope, clarity, and, and desire in his life. And he felt hopeful, right? Was full of clarity. Knew what he wanted to do. That's also speaking of Jojo. The glacier withdrawal, fragility, coldness. He was detaching. He's becoming ice cold. He was withdrawing. Speaks of a dark mental place, y'all. The deceiver, duality, pretense trust this speak look that gemini energy you see mm -hmm. it 
soon as he had said that was talking about his life path number and that he was a Gemini, literally popped out of my hand, swear. He had duality to him. Like he, to some degree, Bray was, had two faces. You never knew what you were getting. Right? And that's not in a bad way because no one has anything bad to say. And, and I don't necessarily just think because he, oh, people are scared to talk bad about him. Like people love to talk shit about people when they pass away. The machine, detached, numb, focused. He was moving like a machine, y'all. Like, we have this very heavy energy coming through now. Right? The judge. Retribution. This is Libra energy. Retribution. Triumph. Discipline. Retribution, huh? Triumph and discipline. The judge. He was fighting against his ex-wife, right? Right? confirmation burp yeah some this might be something with the ex-wife the judge the the retribution triumph and discipline the legal battles he was having with the ex-wife i think i'm pretty much pretty sure i read that he was like that she implied he was hiding assets and stuff like that that's that's not my business the fall corruption uncertainty confusion uh Speaks of like not doing the right thing all the time. Like, you know, definitely living uncertain, head full of confusion, not being in a mental good space. We have a lot of heavy mental head energy. Heavy, heavy mental head energy. Look, again, the mirror. This speaks of that duality. The two sides of Bray. Heavy, reflection, echo, replica. They might try to replicate his ass. I'm serious. But this speaks of reflection, echo, replica. The web. Destiny, connections, habits. You know, um, we have the future and destiny, right? I kind of feel like Bray always knew he was burning shit from both sides. If that makes sense. He was always living his life hot and heavy. Willing to pay the price. Then we have the saint martyrdom dishonor impurity i don't like this card this kind of like speaks of like going on your spiritual journey accepting you're gonna die um being martyred right being martyred with all this sacrifice and other stuff can imply some other stuff so Take that however you want, but we have the same purity, martyrdom, dishonor, speaks of a good spirit, of a good soul, right? People betraying, you know, betraying him. And then we have the moon, which speaks again of transition, emotions, spiritual gifts. Like Bray definitely had spiritual gifts because we have spirituality, mystery, the divine. So that's source, right? That's spirit. That's that's you know, think of the moon is like God, right? Think of think of the divine feminine energy, right? This could also speak of Jojo, but this also it says spirituality, mystery, could also speak of the occult, right? And and the divine. Take that how y'all want. I really don't like to go heavy in these cards because they can have some implications. And remember, this is supposed to be allegedly for entertainment purposes. I ain't looking to be sued. Just reading the energy he wants to talk about. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even see that card that was stuck over there. Oof. Descent, the disintegration. So, yeah, his body was breaking down. Fragmented, fragmentation, breakdown, strength. And was trying to stay strong through it. He was mentally and physically breaking down, fragmented. The disintegration. Look at the images of these cards, y'all. I feel like the images speak a lot. Take take the take the imagery in. 
you know. Last deck, and then we're going to wrap this reading up. I know it's a little longer than I would have liked, but I wanted to really pay respect and give as much love to Bray as I could because it's probably going to be my last reading I do on Bray Wyatt. And I just want Wyndham Rotunda Bray Wyatt to know he was deeply loved. We get of all the harm and none. This reading is for Wyndham Rotunda Bray Wyatt. And then I appreciate him dedicating his mind, body, and spirit to his art and craft to entertain us and we are forever grateful and i pray he transitions on peacefully whenever he's ready to do that we have wisdom door of dreams melting that's that inferno heat again burning hot truth it's like that's a confirmation of what i'm talking about and the adversary. Interesting. Oof, heartache. Reading is for Wendell Rotan to Bray Wyatt. One last. Split the car. One, one two, three. Wendell Rotan to Wendell Rotan to Wendell. This is the last shuffle. What is it you want us to know? There's the confirmation, the sun, the moon. How about I'm pulling all the stuff I just pulled? The secret and the magician again. Confirmation cards. How about I pulled all those cards in the two first two decks and in the last? I don't want to say anything, but um, yeah. How about we just got confirmation on all the cards I pulled. If you are enjoying this reading, please like, share, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. Please leave a comment down below. Please share this. Uh, turn on that notification bell. Let us know what you think. R.I.P. Wyndham Rotunda Bray Wyatt. We send him love in the spirit realm. Thank you so much for allowing me to read this energy and thank you so much for watching um i like i said i send my condolences i send my love to his entire family i send my love and condolences to his close friends and i send my condolences and love and light over his children may his children i pray his children be protected and covered with love light and protection i pray his family be protected and covered with love light and protection and i pray that when the rotunda spirit finds peace in the afterlife and thank you for allowing me to do this reading i need the chart i need door of dreams no i need creation sorry i, I do have a c All right, creation, expression, conception, completion. Creation is more than bringing something into being. It is an opportunity to tap in our hidden talents and skills. Creation is a way to connect with ourselves. So, you know, this is this is talking about, you know, his creative his creative expression, his conception, right? You know, this this is talking about how creative Bray was. door of dreams passage intuition imagery more in talking about his intuition him being spiritual i think bray had spiritual gifts i really do the door of dreams is a passage into what you truly desire what do you wish you would have done or could do differently in your life so this is definitely talking about the passage the intuition the imagery of 
you know, the, the, the transition, things he possibly could have done differently, right? Foresight. Present, presence, huh? Prescience. Prescience, planning, vision. Foresight is the ability to see beyond the present and anticipate what the future holds. Take the time to plan ahead. So this is him again. So we have intuition, planning, and vision and foresight. Like, yeah, you may be clairvoyant. So I'm telling y'all, Bray, that's why Bray burned so hot. Look at these characters, the Fiend, uh, Bray Wyatt, the, the, the character, like all of these characters are so unique. There's no way this dude's some basic ass ordinary dude. And I don't mean that disrespectfully because everybody has spiritual gifts. Just a lot of us don't tap into it. It's go our whole lives and never know it or tap into it. He was tapping into it. He knew it. Like let it he let it in. Like he was having visions. I need to now sit down and listen to some of his interviews, like describing his creative process. Because he does talk about a lot of this, but the creation and talking about the foresight and getting the visions to, to create this stuff. Heartache. Longing, ache, absence. Heartache can be a physical ache that you experience in your chest. You may long for an absent loved one a specific time in your life or a past experience that bought happiness since so childhood on a sense that something is missing right he always felt like something was possibly missing in his life y'all and he was he carried this childhood trauma which we've seen in multiple cards so confirmation melting Surrender, flow, yield. Melting is surrendering. It is falling in love. It is forgiving and forgetting. It is a choice to give up a struggle. Oh, yes. I think Bray, to some degree, knew his health was fucked. And possibly was coming to terms with it. Because there's so much of that that would imply that kind of confirmation of like, I don't, I don't have the energy to keep fighting. Allegedly for entertainment purposes, y'all. Or knew, like, knew he was screwed, something. It, it, it's surrendering. Mm. So, protection. Shield, defense, safety, protection is keeping that which is important to you safe from harm this is him protecting his family which is important to safe from harm you may need to protect loved ones property or resources someone in your life may try to take too much from you if needed be sure to protect your personal space time or emotions yes this speaks of i haven't left right <laughs> i'm 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 still here, right? This could, I feel like that's confirmation. My phone just went off. Or it could also speak of like he was trying to protect his assets. Like, again, I told y'all the judge of fighting with the, you know, fighting with the ex wife and the protection. Like, and also because it was like implying, like, no, I'm trying to protect my. Protect myself, protect my stuff. Allegedly, the adversary. And then the fact that I got protecting my stuff and then adversary really makes me feel like I am onto something. But allegedly, the adversary. Challenger, obstacle limits. The adversary is your competition or enemy in any form. There may be someone in your life who is going to challenge you. The enemy can be a situation that feels out of your control. Yeah. With all his negative mind cards, like, do not let a negative mindset defeat you. You have more control than you realize. Sometimes you are your own nemesis. Accurate. Sometimes you are your own nemesis. The hunter.
pursuit, instinct, skill. The hunter acts on instinct. You know what you want and are more than ready to claim. And now is the time to let your grit, instinct, or intuition propel you forward. From a romantic perspective, this is the thrill of the chase. Ah, he loved the chase, huh? You may cross paths with someone who is skilled at romantic pursuits of someone may soon catch your eye. So the hunter to me definitely speaks of, uh, it could also speak of like, I, Bray loved challenges. Oh no, I, I like to hunt. I like to, he even said on the panel, like, no, I like doing what everybody else isn't doing. He literally on that, on that Mountain Dew panel was saying, I love the pursuit of the unknown. I love the pursuit of, um, doing what everybody else isn't doing, what everybody else is afraid of doing. Everybody has different forms of entertainment. That's that him. That's him. And then the journey. I pull so many travel cards, like, or on the movement, right? On the go. Travel, vacation, movement. The journey is of is physical movement. It can be a brief change of scenery or a weekend getaway. I wonder if he went on a vacation, right? Long-term travel. You may relocate for a job or move into a new home. God, I want, we'll never know unless someone from his family like lets me know like, oh my God, I watched this reading and it was so spot on that it's scary. Like, yes, we did move into a new home. Yes. You know, we did just go on a vacation, like something like that. I will, I'm, I, I will never know that, but um, the journey can pretend a long distance relationship in your future or something like that, right? So that also could speak of him traveling. Like the Fed is a traveling circus. Like if I'm, I'm just waiting to get the circus, which that's the magician, right? The magician is the circus, right? I literally just said that traveling circus, bam, there you go. The magician. <laughs> now it makes sense with all the magician and travel cards I was pulling in the first two decks is like, yeah, the Fed is, the Fed is, a circus, right? Or as people call carnies, right? Magician, talent, transmutation. The magician is a reminder that you possess all that's needed to work magic in your life. You are in control of your reality. Yes. This speaks totally of Bray being into magic, the arts. This is confirmation because as y'all know, I've pulled two magician cards prior to this. Bray was into the arts. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. The moon, allegedly, for entertainment purposes. I ain't looking to start trouble, but he definitely was into the occult. Heavy. The moon. Esoteric, all that probably. The moon. They probably gave him good creative energy, right, to create these characters. The moon. Aspirations, illumination, uncertainty. The moon is elusive. It appears during an uncertain time in your life, which he was, Right? Once he was gone, you know, in his health, you know your aspirations, but the path leading to what you want is indistinct, right? You may find yourself questioning a relationship or find yourself uncertain of, of, of someone's feelings. Yes, this speaks of the uncertainty in his life, right? The secret and being, this is all emotional, him being em hella emotional. The moon is always our emotions, the secret. Unknown, hidden communication. The secret is what needs to be revealed. It is, oh, confirmation burp. It is something withheld or left unsaid. It may be that you are feeling burdened by a secret you are keeping. Not my business, y'all. Someone could be keeping a secret from you. That still ain't my business. The secret can represent ineffective communication and miscommunication. By the way, we got the messenger that looked like damn Mercury. The secret can represent an effective communication, a, a, a miscommunication between you and someone else. So again, I told y'all he was waiting. This could speak about him having miscommunications with Paul or the Fed in general, right? You may feel, you may have left one of your feeling misunderstood. How can this be resolved, right? Like having a lot of back and forth. We saw the mixed feelings getting mixed signals from the Fed right him feeling left in the dark and in his emotions we got the sun happiness fulfillment attainment the sun reassures that you are on the right path everything that you have worked for manifest and dreamed of is coming to fruition which it was that speaks of love i told y'all that's jojo that speaks of love that speaks of personal success in his career 
truth. That speaks of fulfillment. He was in a fulfilled, happy place at one point. Authenticity, bravery, honesty. That's what Bray was giving us. When he came back, he was so happy, so excited. He was being himself. He was speaking his truth. That character, everything we were seeing was his childhood, him healing. It was cathartic. I'm telling y'all, this, this, this second run was a cathartic spiritual journey for him. Truth tells you to speak your mind even when it's difficult. What you need to say may be ill-received, which we knew. He, he said a lot of people ain't going to like what he does. There's freedom in being honest with others. Always act in accordance with your own values. And then we have wisdom as the last card. Understanding advice and guidance. Wisdom is a deep level of understanding. Someone you know may be going through a, a tough time and could use your advice. In that way, your wisdom can be helpful to others. He's always, everyone talks about how I could go to Bray. Bray was always willing to help me. Becky literally on Raw after Raw said uh, she was struggling like in the ring, didn't know what to do. He came to help her. Um, what's her name? Zelina said she was trying out. Wyndham was cheering her on. Like, no, this is this is him saying, no, I'm always willing to help people. I'm always willing to share and help how I can. Right? All right. Giving advice in what way can your wisdom be a help to others, right? He was trying to help others, right? In need of guidance, someone you must trust. So, no. And I feel like that's such a good way to leave that reading on with that. I'm going to pull Bray. Any any other words you want to leave us with? Now is the time to do it. As it, our parting, I will pull a few cards to leave on a note. We have complete power. Center, freedom, breathe. It's been hard to breathe, Bray. Relax. Been hard to relax. It's been intense. <laughs> Shine, flow, illuminate. Interesting word. It seems like a Bray Wyatt word. Seriously. Illuminate, sacred. Wait, I'm sorry. Unity. Question. So we got a question. Complete, sacred, shine, flow, freedom, illuminate, content, center. Sorry. Devotion. The divine showing up that word again, right? Confirmation. A few of these words were in his reading. Honor, joy, and grace, and silence. All right, y'all. That's the words Bray has left us with. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. <sighs> Take a deep breath because he did tell me to breathe and relax. All right, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. I send love and light to the entire Rotunda family. What's the other side? Wyndham. Wyndham, right? Um, I send love to the Wyndham and Rotunda family. I send everyone that is connected to Bray Wyatt, Wyndham Rotunda, a lot of love. May this reading bring some closure, some peace to his fans, um, maybe his family, any of his friends. I really appreciate you guys watching. I really did try to come with the best intentions and read the energy he wanted me to use. I didn't pick no conspiracy theory cards like y'all probably wanted. I wanted to be very respectful to him and his family and leave, leave his legacy on a more loving note as much as I can to contribute to that. So with that said, please like, share, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Please leave a comment down below on how this reading resonated, if you enjoyed it, if you liked it. 
Um, if you like to see more readings, we're going to link the other uh, Bray Wyatt video if you want to check out that one to see how these all connect and see how much we're in sync. Um, I send you guys all my love. I send you love, light, and protection. I, um, I call all my power back, cleanse and purify with love, light, and protection. And I send your love back with love, light, and protection. And I disconnect this connection. So with that being said, you guys, I hope y'all have a good one. Thank y'all for supporting us. Thank y'all so much for all the love and the support. Continue to watch our videos. Continue to support us. Bye.